Hello my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here and today I have another awesome core focused wall Pilates. Four awesome new moves I know you're gonna love so let's get into it and have fun. All right, so I am gonna be doing three sets. The first one where I explain a little bit more, proper form, talk you through the movement, and then set number two and three, no talking, we just go straight through the routine. Alrighty, so starting with our first exercise, we're gonna go ahead, take it down to the floor. All right. We're gonna lay down nice and gentle, all right? And we're gonna back up a little bit, back up a little bit from the wall, not too close, and we're gonna bring our legs up, all right? All the way up. All right, big breath, and what we're gonna be doing is going down, tapping the wall, and then coming up. So the further you are away from the wall, the harder it's gonna be, all right? The more, the lower your legs are gonna come to tap the wall. So you can play around with that a little bit more, find what's good for you. If you need to be a little bit closer, that's fine. A little bit further, challenge yourself, that's great. So tap, come up, and then tap. We're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds continuously. So in position, big breath, and let's go. So you want your arms by your sides to help with stability. Your fingers are spread out so you can grip the floor and help main, maintain a stable upper body. All right, breathing in, taking your time. All right, engaging your core. I want you to suck in your tummy here. And also engage your legs. I don't want, you know, flimsy legs just kind of going up and down. Strong legs, the entire body is engaged. All righty, in three, two, one. Very good, awesome job. Come down. Take a second, and now we're gonna scooch our way a little bit closer to the wall. So you can put your feet on the wall to come closer. Inch forward, you can even touch your butt to the wall. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do straddle crunches. This is fun. So your, your hands and your arms are overhead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna straddle open our legs, open, and as we do that, we're gonna come forward and reach for the wall, reach for the wall, close and come down. Open, reach, close, open, reach, close. And that's it, that's our straddle crunches. If that's a little bit too much for you, don't worry. You can go ahead and just stay in this position and reach forward, all right? I want you to reach towards your toes, all right? Two variations for you, big breath, and let's go. Head, arms overhead, and reach. <sighs> Big breath as you go. <sighs> Very good. You know, what's great about this um, position, this exercise, is that we're not, you know, straining our neck. We're not, we're not pulling on our neck. A lot of the times when we do crunches, it's very normal to go like this, but we don't recommend that. You wanna reach for the sky. You don't wanna strain your neck. So this allows freedom in that area. Big breath, very good. And three, two, one, and come down. Awesome job. Now we're gonna scooch back again. Very good. And we're gonna come into a tabletop position. So a little, you can have your feet on the wall. So this would be a tabletop position, all right? And what we're gonna be doing is extending our legs. So we have our feet on the wall and what we're gonna do is extend it up and we're, we're tapping the wall. So here and then here. So tap and tabletop and then tap forward, all right? And to make this even more challenging, you can hold yourself in a crunch position. Now we just talked about not, you know, straining our neck and not pulling our neck. So you, what you're gonna do is have your elbows out to the side and you have a tennis ball sized space under your chin, all right? So you're looking up towards the sky or you can go ahead and reach forward, all right? Two, three different variations there for you. 
Big breath, 30 seconds, and let's go. All right, straight, bend, straight. And I don't want you to rest here, so don't fully put your weight back on the floor, on the wall. Just do a little tap, tap, tap. All right, very good. Tight tummy, entire body's engaged, we're breathing. Very good. And three, two, one, and come down. Very good. Big breath and lift ourselves up. We're actually going to the wall now. So back to the wall, bend our knees. We're in a wall sit, all right? So the lower you are, the harder it is. And that's okay to come up a little bit so we can focus on our core. And what we're gonna be doing is wall sit with marches. So here, we're going to sit in our wall sit and then march. So bring a knee up and then the other. Up, up. And there we have it. So like I said, the lower you are, the harder it is, but that is more strain on your legs than it is your core. So either way, whether you're sitting lower or higher, you're gonna work out your core. All right, so choose your variation, choose your level. Big breath and let's go. Very good. What I love about this pose right here is that your back is automatically straight. Like the wall just gives you that straight spine so you can focus on your tummy, your legs, the movement, bringing the knee up as much as possible. All right, using those lower abs. Very good. Breathing. And three, two, one. Go ahead, stand up, celebrate. That was it. That was set number one of our core focused wall Pilates. Go ahead, take a second, breathe, grab a drink of water, and we're gonna go to set number two. Alrighty, my beautiful people, set number two, less talking, more doing. We have our wall leg drops, all right? Straight leg going and tapping the wall. Then we have our straddle crunches. Then we have our tabletop kick out and then ending it with a wall march, all right? Big breath, come down to the floor gently. Getting ready for our wall leg drops. 30 seconds on the clock, wall leg drops. And let's go. Three, two, one, come down, very good. Go ahead and inch towards that wall for our straddle crunches. And in position, three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one. Very good, come down. Big breath, scooch back out. And our tabletop kick out. In position and let's go.
in three, two, one. Very good, come down, big breath. Sit yourself up gracefully if you can. <laughs> on the wall for our wall sit with marches. Big breath. And let's go. Come up and celebrate two sets done and dusted. Take a second, grab your water, and we're gonna crush number three. All righty, my beautiful people, let's keep up the energy. Set number three of our core focused wall Pilates down on the ground for our wall leg drops. And let's go. Come down, very good. And in position, three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one. Very good, come down. And our tabletop kick out. In position, and let's go. Come down, big breath on the wall for our wall sit with marches. Big breath, let's go. Three, two, one, very good, come up. Alrighty, and that was it. Three sets of your core focused wall Pilates. I hope you loved it. If you're ready for another one, go ahead, rewind, get to that fourth set. If not, let us know in the comments below what you thought, what you would like to see more of, and then head to our channel, check out the rest of our awesome videos. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because that lets you know when we post. So I hope to see you on the next one.